Wow. <laughs> G'day Hammerheads. So I was doing one of my favorite things, which is surfing AliExpress for some random crap that might be useful. And I came across this mini concrete anchoring kit. So this is Araldite uh, 680. This little kit is a 50 mil kit with a tiny little applicator. And compared to your regular sized applicator, that thing weighs about three kilos. This weighs 300 grams. All right, so this is the kit that I got. It's got the little applicator gun and two nozzles and two glues. Uh, they also sell it in little cans or you can get just the glue by itself. So 34 bucks Australian for the kit that I got or 17 just for one glue or 13 for some little cans. And that's the Wellmid Craftsman Adhesive Store. So I did ask them for their data sheets. They sent some test reports and stuff, obviously all in Chinese, but looking at these data tables, it's not exactly rocket science. So this is probably the one that I'm after here. So I just translated a few sections of the data sheet. Yep, tensile strength, shear resistance. So there's the translation for the rebar. Oh yeah, operating time. Uh, and there's the mechanical properties translated. So assuming this is all true, that's pretty standard for your anchoring epoxies. So I grabbed a couple, I grabbed a little sample kit uh, and check that out. It really is tip just one of these tiny little Araldite style uh, containers. It is three to one. You can see that this side of the cartridge is smaller. So three to one is what your pure anchoring epoxies are. So all the big, the big guys that we usually use like this, this red stuff here in this, uh, this concrete. You can just whack that in there, close that up. And then, okay, and there's a little plug inside. Okay, so we've got a tiny little nozzle thing there. <laughs> nice. So this basically looks like one of those little syringe things that uh, you get regular Araldite, you know, your sort of home, home super glue sort of stuff in. Uh, but it apparently is a proper structural adhesive, you know, an epoxy for bolting stuff into concrete. So uh, yeah, pretty keen to see how this goes. Now I've got um, a bunch of pre-prepared samples. There are all the holes are drilled and cleaned already. I've got some of these little threaded studs so we can compare to all those other glues uh, in my big data set. And then a couple of um, climbing bolts. So some of these are already a bit deformed. They have been uh, pull tested already, but you know, I'm sure they'll still be plenty good. So got a few samples, just gonna glue them up right now. And then in a day or two, we'll pull them out. So let's get gluing. Okay, there is the little applicator, very light little plasticky thing. And you can see the glue's coming out. It is grey, which is nice. Wow, okay. Seems like it's mixed already. So I am just going to go for it. Okay, so this feels pretty strange. It's unlike your big injectors, it's sort of just dribbling. Very sticky. Stickier than, like more viscous than uh, some of the others I've tried, but Seems like a fairly regular epoxy otherwise. Yeah, okay. So that, because it's so viscous, this thing keeps popping off. Okay, little eight millimeter bolt, you know, mini glue, mini bolts. Oh, did I fill it up enough? Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Hell yeah, it's nice. Okay, big one now. Just, uh, okay, this keeps popping off. But you can see how it's just sort of yeah, look at that. I think it's a bit more viscous than a regular glue, but then it's also coming out of this tiny little hole. Yeah, okay. There we go. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, okay. So, got it in. Very annoying. Got this bolt in some concrete. And I'll just do a, a, and I'll just do one of my dribbles. Yeah. Okay. It keeps. <laughs> it's actually squeezed. 
It's actually squeezed the edges of the canister out, but that's been pretty good. We've used about two thirds. We got one, two, three, four, five, six done. So not bad for a tiny little thing. Okay, so it's been about a week now and this stuff, it looks like it's actually not even fully mixed, but it's still super, super hard and well stuck on there. Let me apply my, so classic, classic epoxy behavior that right there, sticking right to the material. Oh, actually, eh, often epoxies would rip the concrete surface off. So anyway, let's get pulling. Yeah. And the test pieces, we've got a couple of these little studs in this concrete, so that'll match the data set from the big glue testing video previously. I've also got one in just this core sample, so I just got this from a core drilling site, giving it a try. So if I can score a bunch of these from like a core drilling company, uh, might be a convenient way of doing this kind of testing. And then I've got a bigger core sample with a pre-loved Rorma bolt in there. I've got this one, which is granite. So that is another pre-loved Rorma bolt, but that's just eight millimeters. And then our last sample is the big guy, another pre-loved Rorma bolt. That one has been through a pull test already. And honestly, I think the rock may split, but I think it's still gonna be a really good indication of what this epoxy can do. Okay, so here's our epoxy. Wee, very nice. 33.25, okay. And obviously this small block has just shattered, wow. So interesting thing, yep, very nice. Taking a lot of concrete with it, beautiful. Uh, interesting thing about this is, big chunk of rebar in there too. So this was from a building site. Uh, yeah, check that out, very cool. Okay, epoxy number two in the big block. Super interesting. 36.65. Steel failure? Hell yeah, that's what we like to see. So it's kind of stretched the steel inside the concrete and inside the glue. Yeah, really nice. Classic epoxy, stronger than anything else. Okay, epoxy three. Thirty-seven point four one. Very nice. So fairly classic epoxy behavior right there. Uh, steel failure or concrete failure, never glue failure. Even on this one, you can see that. See that one there. There was actually a bit of a bubble in there, uh, kind of to be expected, because this stuff did not ver dispense very cleanly. It was not nice to dispense at all. Um, but still, it's behaving exactly like you'd want in an epoxy. And let's see how our Araldite did compared to all the other glue tests I've done. Here it is in blue. So the average of the best three pulls was 35.77. Smack bang in the middle of the pack. Look at the names down here. You'll see which ones are epoxies. And basically it's performing pretty, pretty much as you'd expect for an epoxy based on the rest of these tests. Plus it did cause the steel to break, which is something that really only epoxies do in my little setup. And if we just look at the best pull, so this just separates all the different various failure modes that have happened. Pretty similar results, 37.41 kilonewtons. So it is on the weaker side compared to the rest of the epoxies, but still that was the steel breaking, not the epoxy. So it's as good as you can get. Okay, so this is our first epoxy climbing bolt. Wow. <laughs> cool. Wow. Okay, so the peak was 33.16, and check this out. Just destroyed that block. Classic epoxy. So the epoxy was stronger than the concrete. It's still stuck to it. You've got concrete attached here still. Hell yeah. Good stuff. You can see the indent of that sloped thing there. So yeah, this bolt, uh, it was hard to put in, but obviously really good bond, uh, really good coverage. And it seems like, you know, the glue didn't really mix all that well, but as you're cramming it into that hole, it's probably mixing it, you know, a little bit more as well. So uh, really nice. We've got the little Atrax, the eight millimeter bolt in granite. Oh, 20, 24. How are we going? 36, 37, oh my god. 
Wow. Wow. Okay, so 39 and a half kilonewtons for this little guy. About what you'd expect if you actually measure out the, the steel and everything. Uh, but still pretty impressive from a eight millimeter bolt and steel failure so epoxy is okay <laughs> the bricks oh my god okay so these bricks will probably break but let's give it a shot 10 15 18 31 40 whoa 50 59 wow Whoa. 59.33 love it so as an aside since I've been doing this kind of testing uh, I'm not too worried about you know drill holes <laughs> spreading fractures and all that kind of stuff I know theoretically it's possible but it seems to be one of those uh, I don't want to say old wives tales but things that people just kind of assumed uh, and we never really had data for uh, but anyway we've got rock uh, we've got the glue separated from the rock very very cool and boy these bolts so that was 60 almost 60 kilonewtons still going strong whoever's welding these in the Rorma factory knows what they're doing i love it and here are all our results needless to say this glue plenty strong for this kind of thing and this is what these bolts look like when they're fresh check that out really awesome stuff from Rorma i'm super impressed with these welds and I do like uh, just the shape and everything. They're really nice to use. They're really nice to clip. And they're not too shiny either. Some of the other brands like the Lapas, they're very, very shiny. Uh, I do prefer this kind of dull look on the uh, on the Rorma. So I really like them. They're my favorite glue in bolt to install. These little guys, obviously plenty strong. Uh, you do use a 10 millimeter hole for them. So if you want to cut down on your on your glue usage or your drilling or you just want to have, you know, smaller stuff lugging up with you, the A-Tracks are a nice option too. But if you've got like a crux bolt that people are going to be lobbing onto a lot, probably better to go 10 millimeter. And of course, if you want to get your hands on these bolts or a whole bunch of other bolting stuff, check out the How Not To store. If you use the promo code in my description, you get 10% off your first order and you help out my channel too. Well, there you go, guys. Super interesting little product there. I was super excited to see something like this on the market, well, kind of on the market on, you know, AliExpress, because if you're doing rebolting or whatever and you're using a giant applicator like that size glue gun, it is a nightmare. If you are working with the kind of rock that needs glue-ins, you could also try concrete screws instead. They're probably a little less fiddly more standard equipment um, but you know this thing i think it's a really good idea it's just the execution of this little cartridge here uh not not super good Let's see if i can get it off so part of the reason i think it's such a pain to use this thing is those little holes there are really small so maybe if you could just widen them out or even cut that whole thing off there that would really help with the dispensing because this stuff was thick Plus these little Rauma Atrax bolts, I really do like them. Uh, as you can see, plenty, plenty strong, but uh, you know, 10 millimeter hole, eight millimeter bolts. So if you are looking to really run light, if you're in a remote area or somewhere like that, these are a really good option. They're gonna be super solid for you. But anyway, there you go, guys. Hopefully this has been informative for you. I was super excited to see this little thing because I've been wanting something like this for years, but I don't know if I'm gonna be using this particular one. Uh, other than that, obviously the glue, perfectly fine. It's obviously plenty strong. It is as strong as any other, you know, anchoring epoxy. Um, it doesn't see, it doesn't really have all the certifications I like to see, like a hundred year working life and that kind of thing. But at the end of the day, I would not have any qualms about clipping a bolt anchored with this stuff, even in 30, 40 years, probably. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are digging this video. And if there's any other random esoteric uh, AliExpress bullshit you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Scratches later.